Hi guys, Mr P here. Now, it was my first week back at my school this week, so I wanted to share with you what I got up to. I've been desperate to try some of the new additions to the Keynote app, so I'm gonna share with you what we did and also give you a step-by-step -step guide. Keynote is Apple's alternative to PowerPoint and Google Slides, and in lots of ways, you know, they're much of a muchness, but the recent update that Keynote's had has uh, brought in these drawing tools, and it's just unleashed a whole world of possibilities as far as creativity. So I've been playing around with some of these ideas over the summer. You might have seen that I posted this. I can't wait to do that with the students in my class. Not the Kiki challenge, just the animation idea. I think it's gonna be really, really powerful. So to ease them in with some of the new additions of Keynote, I challenged them to create their own self-portrait on the app. And I was really impressed with some of the outcomes, just as an example. So what I'm gonna do now is give you a step-by-step -step guide for how to create something like that with your pupils on your iPads. Now, Keynote is available as an app. It should be free on your iPads. It's also available on uh, Macs, and I think it's available on the web if you go through your iCloud account. Firstly, make sure the app Keynote is downloaded and you have the most recent update of the app. Open the app and tap the plus icon in the top right-hand corner. Next, choose a theme. I suggest the children usually choose the white theme. Once the first slide appears, you can tap the text box where the option to delete will appear. Then tap the plus icon in the top right hand corner, choose camera, where you can then take a selfie of yourself. If you're happy with it, use photo or retake. Once it loads, tap the paint icon in the top corner and turn down the opacity to about half. Then tap the plus icon and choose drawing. Here you have all your drawing tools at the bottom and using your finger you can then just trace around your face. There is the option to fill, you can change the colour. You can also zoom in by pinching your fingers to be a lot more accurate when tracing around your picture. When it comes to using the fill option, I would suggest turning the opacity of your original picture up and then when you select the colour, you can use this nifty tool which will select the colour of your original picture. Then simply tap in the area you want covered and it fills it. Once you've finished your portrait, you'll probably get something that looks a lot better than my effort here. What I would suggest doing next is tap in the slide on the left, choose copy and paste, and on the second slide, delete your drawing to show your original picture. Then on your first slide, tap the original background picture, delete it, and then press the paint icon to change the background to something nice and bright. And to top it all off, we can then animate it. So tap your drawing and choose the animate option. And then choose build in and line draw. On options, make it a little bit longer, but then also add a transition for your first slide. So once the animation's over, it will show your original picture. And then hopefully you'll get something that looks like this. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, you know what to do. Please do like, share, and get comments in, tagging your teacher friends in as well. And if you do give this a go in class, please share your students' examples. I'd love nothing more to give it a share on my page. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, because I'm sure there's gonna be lots of other creative ways in which we use Keynote this coming year in my classroom. So um, thank you for watching.